The Rupage Sisters Duo. Once upon a time, in a far, far away land, existed a clumsy young woman known as Maisie Clumsy. She had peculiar hair unlike any other inhabitants in the kingdom. She lived in a small wooden cottage with her older, taller, friendlier sister, Franny. As for the firstborn, she had the most precious smile in all the land. People would always talk about the infamous Rupich sisters and envy their beauty. Every day, as requested by their parents, they would take care of the family garden. But of course, the two sisters would always fight for the most stupid things ever. Franny would always talk to the plants. Quit talking to them, Franny. You know our tomatoes hate it when you go on about your stories, cited Macy Clamsey. I have no choice. You step on them all the time. They need some love, you klutz, answered Fanny. At that moment, Macy Clamsey stopped listening to her annoying sister and noticed something strange in the enchanted forest. Her heartbeat increased quickly. The valiant girl decided to investigate the situation. Slowly but heroically, she approached the moving bush. Macy Clamsey stuttered, Whoever you are, show yourself. Suddenly, a wicked witch came out of her hiding spot. You must cut your hair or I'll bewitch you, she threatened. Macy Clumsy immediately refused. That was when the evil witch grabbed Macy Clumsy. Franny heard her cry for help and ran to the forest. Leave her alone, warned Franny. As soon as Franny saw the witch would not give Macy Clumsy up, she proposed her with a deal. Okay, crazy lady, we'll give you our hair and smile only if you accept this basketball duel. My sister and I against you. If we win, you leave us alone forever. And if we lose, you get our hair and smile, shouted Franny. The witch accepted. Later, the duel began. The wicked witch casted a magnetic curse on the basketball ball that would stick the ball to her hand no matter what Franny and Macy Clumsy did. The difference kept getting worse. It was now 54 to 0 for the wicked witch. Later, people around the land heard about this epic duo and started gathering around the basketball court. Frandy saw her best pals, the three little pigs, and uncontrollably began chit-chatting with them. The elderly could not help it. Being friendly was in her nature. Hi guys, it's been so long. How are you? blurted Frandy. The situation outraged Macy Clamsey terribly. There were 15 minutes left to the game. She became possessed by some sort of inner strength. Macy Clamsey managed to slap the basketball ball off the Wicked Witch. I don't want to get my hair, she warned. Her power was remarkably strong that Macy Clamsey disenchanted the curse on the ball. Meanwhile, Frandy continued blabbering about her uninteresting stories. Like, what kind of grocery store doesn't have sugar? The Wicked Witch lost all skills and Macy Clamsey began outrunning her and making many hoops. It was now 60 to 62. Macy Clamsey passed the ball to Frandy hoping she would come to her senses. The ball hit Franny's face. She looked at the scoreboard and realized she had the win in her hand. She skipped the Wicked Witch and threw the ball. There were 10 seconds left to the game. Franny scored the winning goal. Macy Clamsey ran to her older sister and hugged. Thank God, I didn't want to be bald, she sighed. The Wicked Witch was displeased by the situation and left the courtyard. One day I will have you, Rupert sisters! One day! she groaned. The Rupert sisters laughed at the situation and went back home to finish their chores of caring for the family garden as if nothing had happened. However, there was one thing they knew all along. They loved each other dearly even with their clumsiness and unstoppable chattering. They were a team, always, and so they lived happily ever after. The end.